So we are partway through our series in Matthew, and we've been looking at who's in the kingdom, and we've been looking at what it looks like to be in the kingdom. And we're going to be looking at that more today as Steve unpacks our next bit in Matthew chapter 20. Now, I wonder if you can help me. I've got a few things here. I'll light... Here we go. I'll shuffle over so you can all see. So I've got an apple. I've got an orange. I've got a lemon. What do you think is going to come next? What, what do all these things have in common? <laughs> Unintentional, but yes, they're fruit. And so the next thing is going to be a lime. I don't know, is that the, ne- the fourth thing in the uh, rainbow? There we go. Look at that. All right, so we got fruit. Here's a block. Here's another block. Here's another block. What do you think is going to come next? Another. Another block. Ten points. We're not working on points. (laughs) All right, so they've all got something in common. They follow a what? What do they follow? Elsa. A pattern. They all, they're all following a pattern. So if I've got a cup, and then if I've got another cup, and then another cup, what do you think is going to keep coming? More cups. Not in the order of the rainbow, though. And so, this week, we're looking at some verses in the Bible that when you boil it down, it's pretty simple. It's all about a pattern. Jesus is showing what it's like to be in the kingdom and what it's like to follow the king. If you're in God's kingdom, then you're following God's king. Who's God's king? Jesus. Yeah. Jesus is showing what it's like to follow him. Now, Jesus is the most amazing, incredible guy that there's ever been. He's healed the sick, he's calmed storms, he's cast out demons. What else is he going to do? Andy? He's going to die. He's actually going to say that if you're going to be in the kingdom, you need to act like this. So listen out when Steve's talking about it. He says... Even he didn't come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. And so Jesus is showing us the pattern of life to come. If you're following Jesus, he's showing the pattern. He's saying, I'm going to serve, so therefore, what are my followers going to do? Serve. Yeah, now... That might be a normal thing for adults to do, but you know what? You kids can do that as well. You can show that you love God and love other people by the way in which you act towards them. Maybe, how can you guys serve others? What's one or two examples? Elsa? Elsa? Giving up, giving up your time, yep. What's one other thing? Who, who, who had breakfast this morning? Okay, who had a dirty dish after breakfast this morning? <laughs> Lots of dirty dishes. So one way that you could serve your house is to help clean up the dishes or maybe pack away the dishes. There are lots of ways that you could serve. Who, who can read? All right, who can't read? There's a few readers and there's a few non-readers. You know what? You readers could serve the non-readers by maybe reading some of the Bible to them. That would be a great way to serve them. We're going to hear more about that as Steve unpacks our talk this morning. 
How about I pray for us and then we'll grab some activity sheets. Heavenly Father, thank you for sending Jesus. Thank you that Jesus was willing to come and serve us and serve us not just in uh, basic ways, but serve us ultimately by dying on the cross. I thank you for Jesus, his life, death and resurrection. Thank you that he sets the pattern for us to follow. Amen.